What's up guys? Um, today I'm, I'm back again with another Logic Pro tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a, a mix and which is kind of sounds like uh, The weekend, you know, that ambient type singing with some cool effects on it. So I'm going to play it for you and then I'll explain how to do it. Yeah, I know what you want Yeah, I got Okay, so that's the sound that, uh, that I'm going for in this video, and I'll explain it to you. This is basically going to cover a lot of the basics that I covered in my last video on how to mix, and it basically just follows that guideline. So first off, you're going to do a regular channel EQ, take out the low end, make sure you have your analyzer on, and bump, you take out around uh, 1 to 200 hertz, and then I like to drop it a little bit in the 500 hertz range, kind of muddy sound and then bump up the 5 to 10k range that gives it that crisp sound and then around 17k you don't really need that sound so you, I just take it out then I added my compressor the CLA 2A my favorite compressor part of the waves plugins and uh, this compressor is amazing I love it I put on all my vocals every mix that I do and then I add in auto-tune you don't really need auto-tune but if you have a singer like this case I do and um, you don't really, I don't really even need auto tune on this. I just like the effect that it gives. I don't really, it's not even that much auto tune. It just kind of corrects it a little bit. It's a C major again. And then after the pitch corrector and the multipressor, also one of my favorite plugins, I take out all the, the low end about halfway in the 200 to 1K. And then in the, the 1K to 10K, bump it up a little bit. And then 10 to 20, bump it up again just to give that crisp sound and um, I like to take out the low sound the low end a lot when I um, when I'm working with singers it just gives it a cool different sounding effect kind of like what the weekend does in a lot of his songs and then uh, I send it to a bus where I put my um, space designer reverb a lot of reverb especially in this case negative 20 DB it's a lot with space designer and if you're using space designer make sure you send it to a bus otherwise it's gonna eat up a lot of CPU and your computer might crash Nobody ever likes that. So Space Designers are great in reverb. Just uses a lot of CPU. And when you're going for this ambient sound, you want a lot of reverb. And I love Space Designer. And so that's the mix on, on the first track. And then what I do is I duplicate the second or the first track, sorry. And then I add in a one drive, uh, one knob driver. I showed you guys this plugin in, in a recent video. And you don't need to duplicate it if you want. I'd, I'd suggest recording the vocals a second time and then just doing that. And then I bump up the driver to about 7 to 8. You can go all the way. You can go halfway. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you want to do. And then add in an echo with a quarter note. Should be there. 38% repeat, 13 wet. Sounds pretty good. And then what I do is um, the, I put the main vocal a little bit... A little bit louder than the the secondary vocal, the one with the effects on it, because you don't want the effects to be that active. You just kind of want it to be passive, and you just kind of hear it subtly. And um, that's basically it. Uh, I'll play it again, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment or any requests. Okay, and that's about it. Um, let me know if you want to see anything else. Uh, peace out.